I'm Ben, and with Seal Spray Skirts, cut and sewn in the USA, we're going to show you how to put on a spray skirt. Having selected the correct spray skirt for your boat and your use, which you might use the catalog for, or the little book they make, the Book of Seals, that gives you all the fittings, you then end up in your boat. We've already discussed the fit of the tunnel itself, so now we're going to deal with the boat to skirt well, as you might call it. Really important when you do spray skirt work that you practice getting it off, probably more importantly than putting it on. Right now we're going to focus on putting it on, but it's out there. So, first thing I'm going to do is if I'm flexible enough is reach all the way to the back here and try and put this knot in the middle of the cockpit room at the back. And then I'm going to work the fabric around the edge of the cockpit room all the way, making sure that I've pulled out all that slack fabric. Working my way to somewhere in front of my hips if I can, notice I'm leaning back a little to make it easier on myself. my forearm super low, keeping some tension on that cockpit rim and the spray skirt so it doesn't flip up and come off. Notice all this free fabric is now in the front. I've rolled the grab loop back so when I go for that final push over the thing with a forward tilt of the torso, I get the edge of the cockpit covered with the fabric. Notice the bungee sits in underneath the cockpit rim all the way around the boat. So the last thing I must do before I'm done with this is make sure that the bow is in the right place. Most importantly, that the little grab loop's out so I can get out. Reach around underneath, do the final little happy check, make sure it all works, and it's all seated nicely. I hope you found this video helpful on how to put this on. Key points, make sure the back is put on first and all the fabric is taken out as you take it round to in front of the torso. Then, going forwards, it's super important that you pivot at the waist and keep the arms low, keeping the pressure on the skirt towards the cockpit so it doesn't pop off, flipping the end of the spray skirt over the cockpit rim, making sure the grab loop is out. Earlier, we mentioned that it's really important you practice getting out. So there's all kinds of things folks do when they're about to get out of their, their boat, when they're upside down. It's super important you practice this because if this is natural and easy, then folks relax when they're paddling. More often than not, we have problems with folks who are so worried about getting out of their boat that it messes with their whole paddling career spend some quality time getting comfortable upside down in your boat and getting comfortable taking the skirt off. We're going to go through a little routine that you might want to get wired to get out of your boat if it's the way it's going. First thing we're going to do, stop any damage to ourselves. If we ever fall over, the first thing we do is tuck. Pull the grab loop forwards and up. Notice I stay tucked while I'm doing that. Then. As I'm getting ready to get out, my hands find the cockpit room again, run all the way back to my hips, where I pretend I'm taking my trousers off. Instead, I'm taking the boat off. This clears the cockpit off the spray skirt, and I roll myself out of the boat, trying not to let go of it. That is how we get out of the boat. Let me put this on again, just in case for some reason you couldn't find the cockpit rim. Maybe you're leaning back too far or something like that. Here we go, using that same technique, putting it on, pulling all the slack out, pulling all the slack out, pulling all the slack out. 
making sure it's on, flipping it over the front, making sure the grab loop's out, giving it the happy check, yes, it's all sorted. For some reason, if you can't reach this, or if something happens that it's not there, or I don't know, another thing you can think about is you can go to this section here. This is where it's easiest to grab it. Pull to the sides, and the thing will come off. That's kind of like our number two method. If this method isn't working, we go to this method. Anyway, hopefully that will make you a lot safer with your paddling, give you some things to practice. Please practice, enjoy your paddling, have fun, and remember to smile.